this video, I'm going to show you an absolute money red zone passing concept that you can use to score more two-point conversions or just score more touchdowns down in the red zone. If you're like me and you don't like running the ball, I think this is the perfect play for you. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you've not already picked up my Gun Bunch offensive ebook, I would highly encourage you to do that. Gun Bunch is the best offense in the game for a lot of different reasons. And we actually decided this year that we would give you a guide where you only pay one time. So it's one time purchase of $15. And we're going to update this guide as, as far as we need to in this season. So any route, any new route combinations, we're going to update it for you. Any new uh, patches that change stuff, we're going to update it for you. There was just a patch uh, recently and all week long we are updating the bunch guide for you to show you some new cover three glitches, the bombs against cover three. We have one play touchdowns against every single coverage. So I'm super, super excited about this offense. Again, if you've not gotten it yet, it's 15 bucks. The other thing that we threw in there for you this year is we're not actually just going to do a gun bunch offense out of the out of just the one uh, one formation. For example, we didn't just do a Seattle Seahawks offensive ebook. We did a gun bunch ebook. So it breaks down bunch from Carolina, bunch from Seattle, bunch from uh, Tampa Bay. So it really goes in depth on one formation. I felt like that was the move, um, and I'm really, really excited with how it's turned out and all the concepts we and content we've been able to give you guys because I could release an Indianapolis Colts ebook, a Carolina ebook, a Seattle ebook. They'd all be basically the same thing. But this way, we've merged all of them into one for you, and that way you can pick whichever playbook you want to run. Now, that being said, let's dive into this video. I'm actually really excited about this concept. So, this is a concept that you can use out of really any play in Gun Bunch. I personally like to do it out of Mesh Post, and the reason why is because, um, is because of the fact that uh, I can easily run another concept attached to it. Another play that I really like to do this concept out of is the play tight end hook. Um, but for the purpose of the video, we're just going to grab, you know what, let's grab tight end hook and I'll show you, I'll show you it, uh, at the end. But the first and primary play is mesh post. And the reason why is because we can set up a two man route combination on the left side that is absolutely incredibly effective in the red zone. You probably already know what it is, but it's really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put the square receiver on an out route. And then on the right side, I'm just going to put the R1 on a streak. Okay, that's it. And what you're going to see on this left side is if they're in zone coverage of any type, that running back is going to be wide open every single time. A lot of people like to double Mabel. You might play somebody that's running like a Tampa 2, and maybe in their Tampa 2 they're going to drop both linebackers into hard flats just to kind of take away the flats. You run that two-man combo set, that out route. Whoops, I don't know what happened there. Um, but you run that out route in combination with this little seam wheel route. It's really, really, really good. It really is. It's it's the best red zone play in the game. It, it, it truly is. Um, it's so effective. Now, let me jump over here to Tampa 2. I'm just going to run a basic Tampa 2. And again, I can pretty much run any zone. It doesn't matter the zone. And you're going to see that that window is going to be there for you. Okay? Now, the other thing thing that I wanted to do the reason I've got the ball in the middle of the field here is because if you're going for two the ball's gonna be in the middle of the field but what you actually want to do with this is you want to put your bunch to the short side of the field and the reason why we want to do that is because it's going to significantly help this seam wheel route get open so you saw that the the Tampa 2 was kind of kind of causing us a little bit of issues uh, when we put this to the wide side so we put the running back to the wide side of the field it's gonna and I'll come back to the right side in just a second but watch the left side so you're gonna see here now look at how and of course as I say that I get a pick this deep half is I promise you he will not do this this is he's freaking out whatever um, you put them in it doesn't matter if you put them on either hash you're gonna get a different result all you do is low ball it I mean that's it and and you're gonna hit it now, let me spend a few minutes talking about the reasoning as to why I really like this play for zone and for man. So, this is Tampa 2 again, and again, we're just going to pass. See that? See how it goes to the outside there? Now, if you're ever having any issue like what I'm having right there where I'm getting this little weird animation from that uh, flat zone... Just take that circle or that square receiver and you could just put him on like a smoke screen. You could also put him on like a flat and then hot route it, hot route it away. Uh, the good old deep half is really messing with me. Good old classic Madden. Um, but anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we'll flip the play. If we put Mike Evans on a flat 
and then flip the play, you'll see it'll keep his flat route, as you can see right there. So now we should be able to pull this guy out. For whatever reason, the out route sometimes, there you see his proper spacing. And of course, the deep half is ruining this video. That's absolutely awesome. So <laughs> let's uh, let's cover that. Let's come back to that. Let's come back to the Tampa 2 thing. I'm not too concerned about a deep half inside the five because of what we're about to show you to the right side. So um, let's say they're running. Let's say they're running zone. So your first read on this, and this is the point. The only point of this route combo on the left, to be honest with you, is to take this guy who's going to be their user and to move him over here because he will come over here. I guarantee you. As soon as he sees that running back go on a seam wheel, he's going to go guard the running back. Anything they do on the backside, we're going to be able to hit him up. So all we're going to do is we're going to put circle on an in route. And then we're just going to motion him to the numbers or the outside and snap the ball. Our first read is this inside pass lane. So if they want to run cover two, there's a touchdown. Okay, you're going to be able to beat it. Um, so that's cover two. Now let's go through and talk about some of the other coverages you're going to face. For example, cover three. So this is cover three. It's got a yellow zone. It's got everything you should need uh, to take this away. So again, snap the ball. And now we're just going to pass lead that to the right side. As you can see right there, it puts him into a little bit of a nicer, nicer positioning. Now, if you ever have any issues with this, like I said, you can run it on either hash mark. Um, let me show it to you this way. This is more of a standard way that you could do this. Probably a little bit more effective. Um, again, specifically cover three. Uh, even though cover three is really not a good look against this plate by any means. But you're just going to let this guy kind of set his feet up and then snap the ball. And you're just going to pass lead this open. As you see, you, the deep zone no, does not react at all to this ball. And normally, um, the part of the reason why I'm having so much issue with this is because they don't got zone drops on. More than likely, what you would get is you would probably get something like this. You'd get a hard flat, you'd get two yellows and a hard flat, and then you would get a user. Okay, so this is more kind of congruent with what you probably get anyway. So when you motion this guy out, what it does is it, break, it takes that outside third outside of the middle of the field. So now what you should get is an easy, gosh dang, these stupid press animations, um, an, an easy pass lead to the right side, as long as their user doesn't go over there, okay? Obviously, you still have your seam wheel to the, to the running back. So if their user, this is just basically where does their user go? Where does their user go? And if you want to, you could put the tight, make the tight end the vertical guy. That will help a little bit against cover two. It, I won't. I don't think it would help against cover three or cover four. But anyways, you'll see here. Just pass lead this to the right, and as you see, they just don't react to the ball. They just don't react to the ball. Okay. Now let's talk about. Um, so now let's talk about man to man, and I'm just going to move the ball back over here to this side. So man to man, real simple. Most of the time, people are going to think that your running back route is taken away if they play man-to-man -man coverage. So they're going to go to the right, okay? If you are facing man-to-man, -man, especially press man, all you're going to do is snap that ball while that guy's in motion. You're going to low ball this running back route. As you see right there, it beats man-to-man. -man. It's a You have to low ball it, and you have to pass lead it inside. Otherwise, you will not. it will not work very well for you. But let's say, for example, that they're, they're, they're keen to that, so they're going to go get that with their user. Well, now what you're going to see is this backside in route is going to cut over the middle, and you're going to hit that for a touchdown as well. The reason I like this is because they they cannot be right with their user. They literally can't choose the right. They they can't guard both players. They're so far space so well spaced apart. And if you want to you smart route that circle receiver just so he makes sure he goes to the end zone, that's fine as well. But as you see here, and of course the corners make playing it better than he normally normally would. But there's your touchdown, easy read. Um, so that's how I work with man to man because a lot of people, if they're going to play you in man to man, this is what they're going to do. You are going to get um, two of these. You're going to get two hard flats. I guarantee you. If you are, if they're going to run man to man, they're going to run man, and then they're going to put two hard flats on the field. Why? Because that's going to stop the streak, and it will. The streak's not really that open. But look, that flat zone gets pulled out, and as you see, there's a touchdown for you, okay? So you could, if you wanted to, you could drag this guy as well. So if you don't want to put him on an in route, right, because sometimes it takes a little bit, put him on a drag, and what you'll see is, here we go, and that's the only problem. That's why I don't like drag, because that, but if you have a good route running guy, you're going to be fine. 
So that is uh, how to score in the red zone. And the other thing that I wanted to really just quickly highlight, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because of good old practice mode being a little bit wonky, but I'm going to go grab the 335 odd cover four drop. Now it's really, really unlikely that someone's going to call cover four drop in the red zone. I'm just telling you right now, it's really, really, really unlikely. But if they do, they're going to definitely shade their coverage down to the hard flat. Now, let me show you the first read. And the first read is the running back route. So what you're going to see here is you should um, – you, your running back route gets largely taken away. And then your little dig route. So it becomes a timing thing. And like I said, I just don't see this a lot. But if they do run this on you, um, all you're going to – you're going to hit somebody. I mean, you're going to have somebody open. So first read, your little seam pass lead that right. Oftentimes I can hit that. I don't normally throw a pick. If you got Gunslinger, I will tell you, you have a lot of confidence in throwing that route. That route, if you have Gunslinger, to me, is pretty successful. Just pass lead him to the right, just like that. And you see, he's he's getting his hands on the ball, but he's not catching it, okay? The next thing is to work the running back backside. Now, again, you got to remember, who are they usering, okay? Who are they usering? So if they're usering this left, uh, the right side guy, You'll see here, you can still throw that, and the zone will dumb out a lot of times in the back of the end zone. Obviously, you might not want to throw that because it's not a wide open read. But you have to remember, who are they usury? Okay, if they are usury this guy, and they want to go guard the running back, then you're going to get this, right? Wide open touchdown. Okay, if they're usury the left side guy, and they want to come help out on the in route, like that, then your running back is going to be open. So again, you do this, watch that triangle, pass low ball, secure catch it, touchdown. Okay, so those are some ways that you can score in the red zone, whether man zone, it doesn't matter, and you can easily pass around a lot of this stuff. Um, I would really encourage you though, if you're watching this video, Make sure to try this out. This route right here. See how that, in that time he did get me. But I'm telling you, the quarter zones of cover four, they don't really react to the ball very well in the red zone. So when you run this play, for example, like this. Pass like that there. That time, of course, as soon as I say something about it, they would start reacting. But I promise you, if you have backfield master, you tr throw this with like a pass league gunslinger type ability, there's a lot of consistency within what I'm saying, okay? If you don't, then you can just work this backside concept. If you want to leave this post, you can. Um, the problem for me is he does that, and I just I don't think that's very effective. So that's the idea. Another thing that you could do, and, and that's why I wanted to say this to the end of the video, is the tight end hook. So the reason I like tight end hook is essentially we're going to put square on a smoke screen, and we're going to put the running back on an in route. And then all we're going to do is just snap the ball. Now, to the short side of the field, you're going to have either your tight end or you're going to have your hook or your um, your little out route. So let me show you this. So let's say they go cover four and they go hard flats. They're playing real underneath, real aggressive. You got, a, you got several things open against cover four on this one. You're going to have your out route to the right, as you see. You're going to have your crossing route coming across. Uh, most of the time on cover four, especially cover four drop zone, uh, tight end hook is really, really good for a lot of reasons. But one of those reasons is this one right here. You're going to see here, watch this smoke screen is going to hold the zone, passing this to the left. Brady can't make a throw to save his life right now. But as you can see, it's wide open. It's a touchdown. Okay. That's an easy way to beat this coverage. Again, we'll show it to you. Watch R1. I'm just going to hopefully get just enough time in the pocket to make this throw, but just passing that to the right, as you see, touchdown. So those are two plays that you could use in unison, and this play also does a really good job against a lot of different coverages. It's really, really good because the most people in the red zone, they're going to use flat routes, cloud flats, hard flats, all that stuff. Short side bunch really, really messes with the cloud flat zones um, on that little out route uh, to, to Brown. Now, let's take this just a step further. What we could also do with this is we could still put the running back on a vertical, like a streak. We could take square and put him on an out, and then we could do that same kind of concept, except this time what we could do is we have that vertical. We already have this out route, 
So then, you know, all we need to do is have, you know, we could have the Titan on that route, or we could put him on like a delay crossing route. So it gives us great protection and it gives us plenty of time in the pocket. So then everything breaks down, we can release him and then try to make a make a man miss or whatever. Okay. So that is an easy way that you can score in the red zone. Couple different options for you. <clears throat> but really, I want you to try out this um this route right here, this R1, you could even motion this guy, this circle receiver to the outside. And when you motion him, good old Levante David messing up my tips, but you're going to have a lot of success with this, okay? Because again, you're going to go motion, you've got your drag, um, and then here just for sake of simplicity, I'm just going to hot route this. But you have something like this, and then Levante David's not going to let me, let me win here, but... You see the idea. The idea is 100% there. Cover four drop is a terrible defense in the red zone. Um, if they want to run cover four drop, watch. Tight end hook, touchdown. Okay? So you're going to – we can't catch the ball. But you see what I'm saying. This play, this concept is really, really effective against every – really every defense. Um, you, can even, you, you can even do something like this out of verticals. I like this play a lot where you just smoke screen that backside. And then if that way, if they're playing like a hard flat, you just throw that to the back corner. And again, we drop yet another pass. Um, <laughs> but let me show you, uh, let me show you this other side. So this is another cover four drop deal. So just want to kind of drill this home that if we're facing cover four drop, they're going to have a really, really rough night. You see there, your tight end wheel is wide open. There's so much open within this within these concepts that I'm sharing with you. So these are really three key concepts that if you want to be, um, if you want to have a really good red zone offense, to me, these are three must-have plays uh, for you. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn my entire Gun Bunch offense, there's a link in the description. The guide is on sale for $15 one-time purchase, and we get you updated every single uh, patch. We throw out updates. Anytime we need to tweak or change a route combo, we put that right in there and let you know about it. So we've already updated the guide a ton, and we're going to continue to do that for you over the course of the season. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the guide, it's in the description.